And here we go once again, fight fans. This battle is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, is a mixed martial artist standing six feet, one inch tall. Weighing it officially 203 and one half pounds, his professional record stands at two victories and three defeats. Finally out of Cheltenham, England, here is Nick Nimba! And across the cage, his opponent stands, finding out of the red corner, a wrestler standing six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in officially 203 pounds. As a professional, his record stands at three victories and two defeats. Fighting out of Cardiff, Wales, he is the Lithuanian lunatic, Simos Narkas. Referee in charge, Ricardo Mitchell. Outstanding nickname for Seamus Norcus, Lithuanian <laughs> lunatic. Let's get that hashtag trending. Nick Nembard in the black in Union Jack. Seamus Norcus in the red trunks. Touch your gloves and we are underway in the light heavyweight division. See Norcus lower his base momentarily and then stand back up with this almost parrying open palm style here. Very stoic in his march towards. Nick Nembard. More of a kickboxing stance from Nembard. Opens up with a nice lead leg kick. I suspect Nembard's just going to have to take a moment to figure out what's going on here, because this is an interesting approach from the Welsh Lithuanian. We expected him to come out as a wrestler last time. He came out as a boxer. I said to his coach, what's going on after the fight? And he said, you ain't seen nothing yet. He's got even more to show you. Perhaps we're going to see that here this evening. It's just got a flash there of how much distance he intended to cover with that backhand. And he lunged in for that straight left. Bleak kick there from Nembard. Of course, very spry on his toes for a big man. Yeah, of course, Southport, Southport to orthodox stance does present a whole different set of challenges. You see Nembard constantly circling to the left. Just trying to get on the outside foot. I think, I mean, I, you know, I imagine Nembar's just as confused as we are about the approach of Seamus Norcus here. Looking like he needs a second to figure things out. Nice right hand from Norcus there to open his account for this fight. Again, throwing the right is the Lithuanian lunatic. Straight left, Nembar fires back there, Nick Nembar unleashing. And immediately Norcus goes back to what he knows. Really nice counter on the way in from Nembar, that left hook doing the damage. But Norcus here trying to assert some upper body control and head position on the inside. And after a tentative start, we see a flurry of action here in this light heavyweight contest. Nembar trying to turn himself off the cage and create some space. He does. He got double unders first, which was a a nice dominant wrestling grip. Nembelt's corner asking for the jab. I just wonder if that, that little flurry from uh, Nembard that worried Norcus changes his game plan well, into a pure wrestling stance there for a moment. Nice counter punches there from Norcus. You get the feeling like Norcus is trying to really cover a huge amount of range and land that one strike. Nembard already showed how adept he is at countering. Bizarre upright stance. Norcus appears to be confusing Nembard just a little. As you said though, Josh, been fighting and training for a long time as Nembard. It may take him some time to adjust, but I'm sure he's got something in that bag of tricks for Seamus Norcus. Nice leg kick there from Lembard. He's got to be careful Norcus doesn't follow those back. I mean, I mean it's, it's been a fairly uneventful round so far. I'd say Lembard, obviously, with that, that counter left hook, but worried, definitely uh, worried Norcus for a moment. The most significant action of the round. Lembard going back to the world with those leg kicks. Seems like he's trying to bait a reaction out of Norcus, and 
Nock is just staring him down. But I mean, that's all, it's either that or charge forward and you know go straight into a range where he can get hit back. It's a you know a fighter who's not offering any sort of offense or even any sort of feints or clues. It's um, it's a bit of a hard puzzle for him to pick. Frustrating stalemate both for the fighters and us as observers. Doesn't want to get pinned in up against the cage here, though. So fell short with a couple of those shots, did Norcus, but perhaps turning it up a little. The counter right came in from Nembard. I'd almost like Nembard to have a little bit more faith that he can find the chin of Norcus. Norcus perhaps with a little bit more reach. That could be what's causing Nembard to just be a little tentative on stepping on the gas. Final 10 seconds of the round, Nimbard loops a big overhand right. Didn't find a home for it. Norcus comes in with his hands by his waist that time. Stop! What a bizarre first round approach from Seamus Norcus. I'd be really interested to see what Paul Sutherland in the corner of Nick Nembard is going to give him some instructions to counter this. But I've got to say, although it, you know, it wasn't that significant of an action, as we'll see in the replays, it was still the most significant action of, of the bout, and that's probably going to give Nick Nembard the first round. Potentially, the right hand, and a follow-up behind it, he caught Norcus. Nice leg kick there, Norcus just falling short with the counter punches. Yeah, you can see neither one of them was able to really establish a good range. I mean, there's some good kicks from Nembard throughout that round. Norcus with a couple of his own. But really, I mean, it was a relatively uneventful feeling out round, I've got to be honest. Norcus, you might say, was the aggressor, but certainly going to be an interesting one for our judges Let's to go, score, Jess. should it go that far. As we know, both these guys more than capable of finishing fights. Maybe a little bit too much respect on both sides for the finishing ability of their opponent. Touch of gloves, and we're on the way for the second round. Brad Wharton and Josh Palmer calling the action for you here from the Newport Centre. Our main card just 50 minutes away, top of the hour, Cage Warriors 72. Cagewarriors.com for all the broadcast details. I'd like to see Nembard try and go forward here and put some pressure on Norcus. Nice right hand from Nembard. Norcus with a leg kick that time. I honestly think Nembar could cut some angles here and find a way in for a few of these punches. He's the lighter op opponent on his feet. He's probably got a bit more, you know, experience in the stand-up. He's showing it with the movement. And that's, you know, that's sort of compounded by the, the statuesque approach of Seamus Norcus. I'd like to see Nembar use that jab. Put one of those big hooks behind it. The corner calling for Nembard to push his man back. They want a little bit more aggression from their fighter. Nice right hand. Nembard though backing off onto the cage. Possibly trying to bait Norcus in and catch him with the overhand. You can see he's still being a little bit wary of the, the counters. Obviously that's good, but just a few inches further committing forward. A bit more belief that those punches will find the mark. As you said, Josh, Norcus taking the centre of the cage, but no guarantee that he's actually winning this fight here. He needs to do something, he needs to show the judges something to separate himself from Nembard. Not a whole lot to go off so far. Hit. to tee up that left hand. Here, here where he's got those few moments where it appears as though he might have Nembard tracked against the fence. It'd be nice to see him go forward, consolidate that position, really back him up against the cage and be assertive. Right now, I've got to be honest, the, the approach of Seamus Norcus is a little confusing. Although he does seem to be stepping up the urgency a little bit now. When you're going against someone who's got that one-shot KO power, as Nembard does, Understandable to be tentative, but at the end of the day, Josh, they're in a fight and he's got to do something to win. It'd be 
be remiss for either of these men to assume that they're ahead on the judges' scorecards at this moment in time. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw two 10-10s if uh, this round stays like this. But I do think Nemba probably did take the first. 30-30 draw might be the first <laughs> in Cage Warriors history. Plenty of time yet. Seven minutes of action if they need it for one of these men. See there we see he's got he's got the movement in, in you know being evasive in defense. Now he just needs to put that in to his attack so he can cut a few more angles and land some of those uh, heavy hands that we know he has. Lambard's corner telling him not to back up. And the exchange is coming with a little more frequency now. counter from Nembog. Nothing too significant in that exchange though. See there, he, he chased him back. It would just be nice to see him go that extra you know, two, three, four paces after that and keep the punches coming. If you've got your man turning away and backing off, follow him up. Rock is trying to grab a hold of his man there. Nembog able to step away. And again, stepping off the centre of the cage is Nembard. The corner calling for him to step in, calling for the jab. Nork is content to stalk his man around the cage. Nork is throwing the three punches that time. Again here, he's got him trapped. There's 20 seconds left in the round. Let's put a flurry on him. Let's connect and do some work on the inside. Let's just do something. You can see he leaves his head all the way back as he tries to throw the punches. You can't hit the guy and stay completely out of danger. You've got to go into the eye of the storm a little bit. Stop. Another frustrating round there, Josh. I think frustrating is a really good way to describe it. I mean, if I'm a judge, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, which of these guys really wants to win this fight. You know, if I had to give it to somebody, I'm going to give it to Nick Nembard, probably just for, you know, a few more attempted strikes landed. But Well, let's take a look at some of the action, see if we can pick out a few talking points here, Josh. Nembard landing a, a nice right as Nork has stepped in. Just he, fell short with the left follow-up that time. Every time Norcus tries to go in, he wants to lean his head back out of the way at the same time. And that's cutting his punches short. It means neither one of them is really finding the mark. Admittedly, he landed that jab there, but I honestly don't know what the judges are going to pick away from that round to try and decide a winner. Seamus North is looking a bit frustrated in his corner. I mean, the, the work rate he had in his striking in his last fight, why are we not seeing that now? I mean, I appreciate that... You know, Nick Nembard has heavy hands and there's always a the potential danger there, but one of these guys has got to do something. It's going to be a difficult one for our judges to score. We'd love to have you chime in with your opinions watching at home. Use the hashtag CWFC72. Give us your predictions for this fight and indeed any of our upcoming bouts tonight on Cage Warrior 72. More action to come on our Facebook prelims before we go live around the world at the top of the hour with our main card. Azzy Thomas and Mario Saeed up next. Fireworks guaranteed. And in that wide hand position, he's baiting the straight shots down the middle, which is going to try and parry down and counter over the top. But, you know, but one of these guys is He's got to try and mix it up here. And if Norcus is waiting for you know, the straight, slightly deeper shots from Nembard, I'm not sure they're going to come at this way. Well, the time to wait is long gone. Four minutes left in the bout. One of these guys has to do something. Somebody needs to put a stamp on this fight. I mean, they say, you know, you really should leave it all in the cage. You get to the end of a fight, you should know that you could not have done anything else. In if either of these guys is tired at the end of this, I'll be amazed. Lembard now just winging that right, falling way short of the mark. 
jab to the body there from Lembard. That was something new. He's got to follow that up, though. Something a bit different from Marcus now, trying to close the distance. Good work from Lembard there, though. Strong right underhook from him. Right overhook, sorry. Marcus has got to watch his head down low. That's really nice work from Nembard to see the space, create the range, and get back to this uh, open range striking. Again, going for the takedown, eight and elbow for his troubles on that occasion. Yeah, really, Zemus Norcus. Really nice head deflection on the way in. He's got a good body lock position here as well. Let's see if he can leave a Norcus around. And that knee went low. Nick Nembard will have five minutes now to recover. Seemed accidental. I think so. I'm sure we'll get a replay in a moment. How we do love these low blow replays. Yeah, definitely low there. Looked like he was trying to knee the inside of the thigh. Got it on the second attempt. And you know what? Nembard was in a really good position to turn that clinch around. He had double unders with a full body lock, and Norcus's defensive overhook was just lying over the shoulder. Nembard could have turned the angle, got to his back, at least reversed the position. Nick Nembard has the time if he wants it. And he indicates to the referee that he's ready to go. Seamus Norcus apologising. Touch of gloves. And we're back on the way. Perhaps you see a little bit of urgency now as we enter the home straight. Two and a half minutes to go. Nembo whipping that right hook out. Still the power there, as you can clearly see. Just got to put a few combinations together. Last couple of minutes. Really try and take this round. Good kick. Nembard has never seen the third round as an amateur or professional on charted territory for the man from Trojan Free Fighters. Now we're seeing a bit of action from these low heavyweights. A bit more positive here from Nembard. Like to see Nembard perhaps mix up that lead hand strike. Look for the jab, look for the screw shot up the middle, something to set up that huge backhand. 90 seconds left in this light heavyweight tilt. Nice combination from Nembar, but it can really steps back. It's the problem for both guys in this fight. They've got into an engagement, they've thrown a, a couple of punches, and they've just retreated back again. Either one of them just needs to add the extra two, three, four punches on the end. I honestly think they catch their opponent unawares. corner telling him to move not to get pinned up on the fence less than one minute to go Seamus Norcus barreling in for a takedown and there you go again the body lock into the back the position we could have seen before that low blow Nembard's corner telling him not to let it go to the judges and I like the defensive wrestling of Nembard lost a bit of the zip on those punches though Again, whipping out that looping right. Again, not finding a home for it. Norcus looking for the takedown. Trying to join the hands, he does. And is he going to score it right at the end? Last 10 seconds, lovely work from Nembard to get his base back planted. Get that underhook back. Stop. Oh. And that was in the books, Josh. I've got no idea which way that one's going to go. I, my gut feeling is that perhaps Nembard has nicked one, maybe two rounds in there. There's possibly a drawn round. I'm as curious as you guys to see how the judges are going to score this one because it was a bit of an odd encounter overall. And not the most entertaining bout we've seen on Cage Warriors this year. Sometimes though, especially when you have these 
Big light heavyweights, big power punches. There's just a little bit too much respect shown. Let's take a look back now at some of the action from that third and final round. Norcus with the leg kicks. Nembard, his best weapon really is the overhand right. He launched it a few times, didn't quite catch his man cleanly though. Norcus firing out the jab, but nothing behind it. Nembar just trying to turn the knuckles over on that looping hand. Nothing of significance landed really the entire fight. As our judges tally their scorecards, it's going to be very interesting to see where the chips will land. Joe Martinez now making his way Ladies to and the gentlemen, cage. after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and here are the totals. Judge Ben Cartledge has it. 29-28 for Norcas. <laughs> Judge David Leatherby, 29-28 for Nembar. And Judge Barry Oglesby has it, 29-28. Your winner by split decision from Cheltenham, England, Nick Nembar! <laughs> Nick Nembar with the split decision victory. He's with Josh Palmer.